Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a wolfin, or werewolf, from Temple of the West and Journeyman Miniatures, Kassar the Fugitive. This is the Journeyman Miniatures version from uh, France. If you get the Temple of the West version, you get the same miniature. However, uh, he also comes with some cards for Confrontation Continuum. A little Minotaur sticker and a big base. Well packed. And single bag of resin. So in our bag, we have our Wolfen. So it comes with a big pedestal style base. One, two arms, one, two legs, and a Heel. Um, so, 50mm square base, good for all sorts of games. I'll be rebasing them onto an old rack and base that I have. You can see here part of the model then, sprue gates on the back of the ears, getting those long, delicate ears cast nicely. Sprue gates on joints that are going to be hidden. Slight seam line under this arm, although not on the body or upper arm. So if you're going to have a seam line to clean off, I'd much prefer it to be out of sight and out of mind. So it won't take much to carve that down, file it away. Legs the same. Sprue gates to aid the casting are going to be hidden when the joins are glued. And a little bit of flashing on this one, but very minimal. Might need to bend the uh, his wickedly curved dagger with a bit of hot water, just to straighten that out slightly. There's a little sprue gate right on the tip there. If you're ever dealing with fragile pieces like this, where you have a sprue gate on the hilt or the tip of a blade, um, and you're worried about breaking it off, uh, your best bet is to do it when it's hot. So these will need to be bathed in, in hot water anyway, hot soapy water to clean off any mold release before gluing and painting. And when it's like that, it becomes very rubbery, less brittle, and that's the time to clear off these smaller pieces uh, if you do it when it's cold, you do run the risk of breaking off something you shouldn't. Um, it's always easier just to clean down very slowly. It's like seam there again, which actually, mm, yeah, it'll be slightly more visible on this. Although it is actually a leather wrap around his hand, so there must be a seam line somewhere anyway. But I should be back. And Kassar is built. All right, so Kassar is built. As you can see, popped him onto an old confrontation base, so smaller than the one he comes with. Um, went together very nicely. There is a slight gap around the waistband, which may just be where I haven't quite set him in before the glue caught. Um, it was a little rough and ready in there, and I don't mind a bit of filling on resin. You generally tend to expect it. Uh, I have seen in painted versions where that blade has been um, assembled at like a 45 degree vertical. So more like this. Uh, but I quite like the low down look. Uh, and as far as the musculature and arm join goes, uh, it still sits in there very nicely. I'll have a bit of additional cleanup and filling to do underneath where that um, glove or leather brace goes. Um, but I felt that was worth it because I prefer that pose. As you can see, nesting there on his rock. He is approximately 50 millimeters to top of his ears, about 44 to eye level and there is a bit of an overhang if he's on the 
confrontation uh, 35 mil base, 37 and a half, whatever you want to call them. Um, but it is a skirmish game, so I'm not particularly worried about that. It's a terrific skill based on um, Paul Bonner's artwork. So yeah, went together really nicely, cleaned up very well, and just a small amount of filling, and he'll be good to go for the tabletop. Um, if you get him from Journeyman Miniatures, he just comes as the model. If you pick him up from um, Temple of the West in the US, you'll get cards for Confrontation and Confrontation Continuum, their upcoming skirmish game, which is similar but different. Um, if you fancy using them for Confrontation and you're unaware of it, uh, there is an app called Confrontation Club um, where if you don't have the original cards, uh, I do, I just couldn't dig them out, um, you can get this app that tells you all about the various factions. This is a nice touch if you are unaware of the game beforehand, apart from having the full rules. Every army list also tells you the pros and cons of the army, so you can see exactly what you're getting into. And then if I go to create, I can find Kassar, the fugitive, and that's his original card. And you can see the original sculpt, so the uh, two-handed weapons, or two-hand weapons rather, dagger. And uh, he's a little bit creepy. There we have it, a glorious sculpt once again from the guys. Uh, absolutely Beautiful model for a painter, a real challenge. Uh, lots of empty space that you can really make your mark on and uh, and show it up to its best. And obviously a brute in gameplay as well. So, uh, you know, if you fancy doing a, a touch of the old wolf and uh, warging out on the tabletop, then it's, it's a great way to go for confrontation. Uh, like you see in there, you can have a look at the stats on Confrontation Club or keep an eye out for Temple of the West's new skirmish confrontation continuum uh, whenever it comes out. Slightly more streamlined uh, skirmish game for larger sort of style warbands. Um, but let me know what you think of the miniature below uh, if you've been playing Confrontation or if you've been experimenting with the stuff from Journeyman and Temple of the West as well. I'd be very interested to hear that. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.